Welcome to another episode of I Can't Make This Up, the show about bringing people from different backgrounds together through true stories. I'm your host, AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. And I can be found at www.ajdunk.com. Guests are taking the time out of their day to be on an episode of I Can't Make This Up. I have to consider them to be special. So guest, if you would, please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Tiana. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 26. Not that it matters, but (laughs) I'm 26. Right now I'm running, well, starting up my own little business called Soul Fuels LLC. You guys can check it out when you want to. But yeah, I'm a Leo. Very fun, very outgoing, very open-minded, very spiritual. And yeah. We both working. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Stay at it. Stay at it. (laughs) Right there. (laughs) I I can't make this up. It's all about true stories that have happened in people's life. And they share these true stories. Now, Kiana is going to tell this story. While she is telling this story, you can comment. Feel free. Comment until your fingers so you have to use the back of your fingers. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. Comment, 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 comment. Now, if you have a specific question for Tiana, then you press that button down there that looks like this. <laughs> submit your question. Tiana, you pinky promise is real? Pinky promise. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. The event I'm talking about, I call is a work job from hell okay so in my past life last year (laughs) i was into doing bottle service bartending all those fun exciting fast money kind of things me and my friend were requested to work an event called brt weekend yeah beach road trip weekend so i'm talking about we're flying out from brooklyn to miami to go oh shit actually we we flew to miami but it was in florida keys so, okay. Okay. I see what yeah. level we at. I, I understand. I got you. I'm with you now. Okay. Look, there's my friend. She's like, in the South Flight. Okay. Uh oh. Right okay. Uh oh. She jumping ahead. Don't don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, Nikita. <laughs> so I was supposed to be flying out first, I believe, because there was three of us. Now we have Nakia, we have me, and we have Nakia's friend Jessica, who I had never met at this time. And I'm hitting up Nakia like, because Nakia was kind of flying in right after me. So I'm like, yeah, you're like, are you making it to the airport and everything? This girl can't find her passport because I, I don't think she had the ID. So she was using that document to fly. We know you don't need a passport to fly to Florida, but she <laughs> needed that. So she needed that ID. If I'm wrong, Nakia, correct me, okay? So now my anxiety, I'm like already feeling crazy. I'm like, this is a bad idea. I don't even know if I'm going to go no more. I might just have to sit this out. I actually told them that I'm, I'm going to cancel my flight. I think this was the first time I ever tried spirit. Don't judge me, okay? I ain't know. Oh, spirit it makes sense. It all ma- it's all making sense. It's all making I'm, I know. It already started bad, okay? You hear me? It started fucking bad. So. It took 10% off for you speaking to the person to take another 10% off of your flight. <laughs> Basically. Now she calls me and she's like, I found it. I'm going to head to the airport. And I'm like, what in the entire fuck? I'm like, I don't feel good. And I don't think it's a good idea for me to fly. So how I look now, going back to the desk, like, "Mm, I feel fine, guys. Can I get that flight that y'all just canceled right back? I definitely had to book a whole nother flight. Yeah. So that's already, that's already the hell welcoming me. (laughs) Florida Keys is a good hour and a half out from Miami. So how the fuck are we getting from Miami to Florida Keys? So now she's like, you know, I think this dude will pay for our Uber. And he came through and he paid for our fucking Uber. That Uber was over a hundred dollars. So shout out, let, let's shout out that NFL player that held it down for all of us. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So now we get there and we're like late for the party. We want to still work. They allow us to work. What they should have did was tell us that we, we are not needed to work because nothing was happening. <laughs> there was no work for us to do. They didn't mention we're not getting a base pay now. We're getting paid off the bottles we sell. So now we're just, we're just there, just, just to be there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Before we get to the place, we go to our room. These people said, you know, we're not going to pay for y'all flights, but we will book y'all a room, you know, a hotel for y'all to stay in. It will be this amount of girls because it's a lot of y'all girls, you know. It's three of us, so they put all three of us in a room. Let me just show y'all the key because I kept the key. And I kid y'all not, I had to. I had to besides the fact I'm a hoarder. Hold on, chill. <laughs> this is the key. What the fuck is this? What is this? It was literally like one of those hotel, not hotel. I'm so sorry. How? Why would I ever upgrade them like that? The motel, the motel was just like one of those mo those rooms from a scary movie. Like you know you about to die. Anybody drinking in the between time? <laughs> BRT weekend. Like I said, it's a weekend full of events. So it that's one out of the five events. Not the next day. The first event was called the Wet and Wild Party. Sounds very fun. And I kid you not, we get there, the setup is beautiful. The setup is beautiful. But I'm not going to lie, I didn't realize these people rented one space and they like just like kind of move, maneuver through the space. So I'm like, oh shit, well, down there is where we was last night. But that's, that's no biggie. It's okay. Do y'all think? We get there early. We're taking pictures under the palm trees. We're hanging out. We're off to the side because we're not in the way. We get called over to have a meeting with the boss. The boss guy. I'm not even going to call him a boss man. The boss guy. Where were you? This is how he's talking to us. Where were all of you? We were right over there. No, you wasn't here. You, 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 you guys just got here. We were like, we were over there for like an hour. We're, we were waiting. You know, like, what are we going to fucking do? We're in bathing suits. Mind you, all of our attire throughout the weekend were all bathing suits. He's cutting off the gear. And in the midst of this girl jumping in, he's like, you know what? Go home. Go home. So he don't even, he didn't even let the girl work anymore. He's like, y'all both could go home. Straight up, bro. Go jump this thing up. First of all, it's five of us, one of him. Let's like, okay. So bad vibes, bad vibes. I killed the mood. You know, y'all already put us in this. Like, what the fuck? Let me, let me calm down. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is how, this was the party that I realized that this was all a setup. They had their Miami girls. This this boss this boss guy had his set of girls already, and he were referring all the big spenders, all the money spenders to his girls only, and had us who took the time out to fly, fly, be in a motel with the roaches, and you gonna do us like that? Not to mention, we're only getting ten dollars off of a bottle. So when I tell you we all, if we got lucky to sell two bottles. We left for twenty dollars. <laughs> Where's the fireworks for that one? Because that was a fucking joke. Let me tell you about the glow party. Let me tell you about the Miami girls. <laughs> she was not our kind. Not that it matters, but you know she might be a little wow, little wet and wow from the day before. So she's gonna walk by. She's gonna walk by one of our homeboys and grab his. You know what I'm? Yeah. So I'm like. <laughs> She grabbed his foot. No. She grabbed the sack. She grabbed the motherfucking sack. <laughs> it just became a really, like, a big time wake up call. Like, we did not know at all what we was getting ourselves into. And it was a bit, like, scary. I would say. We did end up making ends meet. The next morning is the Juve party. Oh my God, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this. Guys. I went to the Juve party to sell, I mean, not even to sell, to serve fucking food. Just to make some coins. I did not come out there to be a, a person that sells food and wear a fucking apron with gloves and a thing on my head. I came to make fast money, you know, being who I am genuinely, but I didn't get, I got robbed that chance. So whatever, so be it. You didn't, go, out there. You didn't go to Juve selling poom poom, so you good. <laughs> Or grabbing penises, so. <laughs> if anybody know what a juve party is, put a dancing emoji. <laughs> but this is a juve party where it's paint, it's powder, it's alcohol. We're drinking early in the morning. I'm talking about before 8 o'clock the party starts. The food didn't arrive till hours in. Now, we, we're, at this point, we're serving food and getting cursed out because they're allowing us to serve this size portion of food. So these poor people who waited hours and hours to eat in the morning and want to drink, drink, drink. And then, and then to add to that, this is an all-inclusive event. This is a reggae Jamaican crowd. So you know we get a curse. Oh, what it bum my clock? Oh, what it? All of that. But you know what? We're still keeping faith alive. We're just still being positive. 
and making it through. The last event of the night is all white party. It's supposed to be the big bag money spending party. I'm not gonna lie, I think that was the best party. And as far as financially, yeah, we we definitely made ends meet. Cause people show, they wait for that party specifically to show up and show out and they all white buying all the bottles and all of this. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want you to live through this no more. I want to ask you some questions, girl. Can I ask you some <laughs> you straight. Please do, please do. Shoot away. The, 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 the thing that I realized with this story, everything was late. Y'all was late to the plane. You was late to the first party. You was late to the second party. No, no we wasn't late to the second party. We was there. He thought we was late, but you could act like it because we got okay. we got we got yelled at for being late but early. So yeah. <laughs> well, you you should have been late to the whole event. This shit was a fucking. <laughs> oh man, I like. <laughs> I, I wanted to see if I could like pin this here real quick so y'all could just you make know. Some ear, you should make an earring out of this. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't talk to people before you were like, yo, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I know, like, why we didn't do our research? <laughs> but you don't even want to know the worst part. I won't even tell you that. Maybe you might have to feature me for another time. But Lord, Lord, as if we didn't learn our lesson. That's all I'm going to say. As if we didn't learn our lesson that time. <laughs> I, already, I, I, can, I can see around the corner. Before you even put your turn signal on, girl, I'm not going. I'm not going. We're not going to go there. I don't want to hear you had a sage party, and people are getting paid off of how long the sage burns. Okay. I, so, I know you gonna have it all set up, and you gonna have them started, and you gonna have some that like you have some roach. You got some roach tip uh, sage pieces left. <laughs> And they're going to be walking over like, here, Tiana, my whole sage done burned. Like, don't do that. <laughs> you said it. You're saying you play too much. Somebody also said, that's the Econo Lodge kid. <laughs> that's definitely. <laughs> Seriously. Why you kept that kid? <laughs> this is not even an experience you don't want to remember. But I'm sorry. I had to keep the fucking key so people know it's real. Like it's like y'all y'all gonna believe the story, but y'all need to know what we got ourselves into. Two oh eight, we was about to die, y'all. This is gonna go in a scrapbook. My kids is gonna see this shit. Cause when I'm gonna be like, listen, baby, if you clock it, if you go into anything and they give you this, leave. <laughs> Exit left now. Before you get out of here, I would just like you to let people know how you would like to be remembered. I would like to be remembered as a person that's very genuine, obviously always making the best out of the worst situations, always staying positive, see the positive. Even after taking a really great loss, I still managed to see the positive end of it. So we really, that's all I want to stay with. Staying grounded, staying positive, and staying full of love and light, y'all. That's all. And don't bottle service it. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. I'm retired. <laughs> Cause we got room keys. We got room keys. <laughs> Why you play so much? Stay full of love and light. That is all. Love you guys. You guys, were, this was so fun. Thank, Thank you so much, AJ. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I saw us hitting the deer before, before we even started putting on Bambi. I I seen it, man. <laughs> Boy, oh man, oh. Guess what though. It happened for a reason because Tiana came out stronger. And you know what I mean? Sometimes that's what it takes. So what did we learn today? Be safe. You should try to look at signs. Pay attention to what's going on. Trust your gut. Because at the beginning of the story, Tiana said that she was like, oh, I'm going to cancel this. You know what I mean? I shouldn't, I, I'm not going to go. If she would have said that and stuck with it, she wouldn't have got this experience. So sometimes we just need to trust our gut. Now, your boy's name is AJ Dunk. And it's spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. From there, I got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. All different types of AJ Dunk, but they're all AJ Dunk. And don't forget, quote me, laughter's always in style. And let them know, ma.